So hello everyone, it's that time again where I show off some books that I got for Christmas. I currently have one, two, three, four, five books here. Um, <coughs> excuse me, getting over a, a cold. I do have a gift card, um, but because there's no more books literally on my list at the moment, there's none like being released. I'm going to save those gift cards for when like the Life is Strange, a new comic comes out or something that I actually want to read and keep as well because I only buy books now if I'm generally interested and I think I'm going to keep it, review it and read it and enjoy it and if I'm not sure I don't buy them anymore because I used to have like a really bad problem with books where I just buy every single book and I'm trying to... <laughs> I made a promise to my mum that she made me promise that I would bless her heart that I would at least read every single book I have once and then if I don't like it and I'm not going to read it again then and only then I can either sell it or donate it so I made that promise to my mum so this year I want to try and I want to reread some books as well that's in my pile because like there's some books from my teenagehood that I absolutely loved and adored and I want to review them for the channel now that um I'm really doing something with the Obsidian Nook but also I want to try and read the books that I've had for like nearly 10 years so that I think that I'm not going to reread or keep so I'm currently in the process of doing that and I have been doing it. I did start it last year as well. Um, so anyway this is my book haul so we have five books in total. All of these books I found on Instagram, um, I think a couple of them came up on TikTok I'm super excited to read them and I, I'm i so thankful to my stepdad and my, well, my unofficial husband, because we're not officially married, who actually got the American editions, I believe. So these are the really nice um, covers, because um, sometimes it can be hit or miss, like the Americans will get the better cover and then the British will get like rubbish covers and then sometimes... I think it was like Throne of Glass series. We had the white covers that a lot of like American people wanted and bookworms over there, but they couldn't get them. So I do have that series, not Throne of Glass because I've already read it and I've let it go, but I have the other ones and they are the British white editions. If any of you over in America are happy to pay international shipping because once I read them, I'm not going to keep them, you are more than welcome to take them off my hands. Um, just saying because I know how many people wanted the British editions with the white background um, on them and they were really hard to get over in the US and the amount of shipping would have been ridiculous but as I say once I've read them I don't really want to keep them um, but if there's someone who's willing to pay literally just the shipping to get them out of Britain and over to America then you're more than welcome to have them because I can't afford to ship them out <coughs> but anyway Going on with the book haul, I've never read any books by this author, but I've heard of this author. I believe she's done four books in total. I have two because I um, asked for the two that interest me the most. And the first one is The Counselors by Jessica Goodman. God Godman. So the cover first off is really pretty. I really like the cover. Um, and as I say, it's it feels like really big print, but I don't know if that's just because of how international um, covers are. Because it just says international edition on the back, so I don't know if that's just because it's how they are. But um, anyway, this book is kind of like when it came up on the Razable um, Instagram, they said it was like a campy type book. Um, so that really interested me from the start, and obviously I like the cover. Um, this is a YA thriller. Yeah, so this is a YA thriller and she's done other books as well called The Legacy, They Wish They Were Us and They'll Never Catch Us. So this is Camp Alpin Lake. Due to my LD, I, there's certain words I can't read. So if I kind of skip over fingers generally because I can't read that word to an extent. Um, it's the only place where Goldie Est Eastern feels safe. She's always had a special connection to the place. 
even before she was old enough to attend, the camp is the lifeline of Roxwood. The small town where, where she lives, Alpen Lake, provides jobs, money and something to the region. But few, sorry, few Roxwood locals get to reap the rewards of living so close to the glam summer camp with its five figure something and the rich kids who have been sent there for eight weeks by their powerful parents. Goldie's one of them. Even with her towny background, Goldie has never felt more at home than she does at camp. And now she's back as a counsellor, desperate for summer to start and her best friends Ava and Imogen to arrive because Goldie has a terrible dark secret she's been keeping and she is more than in need of their comfort than ever. But Goldie is not the only person at camp who has been lying. When a teen turns up dead in the lake late one night, she knows that one she knows that the death couldn't have been an accident. She also knows that Ava was at the lake that same night. What did Ava see and what does she know? Why hasn't she said anything to Goldie about the death? Worse, what did Ava do? But asking questions offers no answers. Only broken bonds of lifelong friendships with hidden danger and betrayal and deeper than Goldie ever imagined. So yeah, I absolutely loved the amount of detail when I read the blurb online. And I was like, I have to read this one. I have to review it. Like, it's the perfect winter read um, for how dark it's going to be. So, yeah. So, as well, because I still have to make my 2BR for January. And I have three books. I just need another two. So, by doing this, I can kind of choose um, what I want to read right now. So, that was The Counselors by Jessica Goodman. And another book by her, which I've been waiting and following from the release date, is The Legacies. Um, I fell in love with the cover straight away, but also the blurb. If I like these two enough, um, I will probably go and get the... I'll probably go and buy the other two. But just because I didn't get the other two was because they didn't sound as appealing to me as these two. So... If I like her writing style and she becomes like my new favourite author like Amanda Hocken and Alison Lowell where I have most of their books, um, I will then go and get her other two and keep them. I want to get more by Natalie D. Richards but I don't know what like book I should go with next because I've only read Four Found Dead and that was my first book in reading by this author. So this is Backstabbing Betrayal and Blackmail. <laughs> Sounds right up my alley. Scoring an invitation for a membership to the Legacy Club in New York City is more than an honour. It gives lifetime access to power and wealth beyond any prep school donors. <coughs> Guaranteed security as club members always look out for their own. That is, after making it through the relig regionals week of events and the extravagant gala, the Legacy Ball. It's not surprising when... Something Prep Seniors, Bernie Camplin, Isabel and Skylar are nominated as legacies. Their predators have assessed their membership since birth, even if they're all keeping secrets that could destroy their reputation. But Skylar Ship Kid from Queens, Tory. She's never fit in this world of designer bags, penthouses, apartment, and million dollar donations. So what did she do to secure her place? The night of the legacy ball is supposed to be the best night of their of their senior lives. A night of something, endless champagne, and plenty of hush gossip. Everyone expects a night of luxury and excess. No one expects their secrets to become out. Or for someone to die trying to keep them hidden. So yeah, that sounded really interesting to me and I can't wait to read that. I don't think I'm going to add this in the January uh, to be read because the other one sounds a lot more interesting. But I'm going to put that to one side. Okay. So I found this book on Instagram and I was waiting for the release. And 
then I got it for uh, Christmas. The paper feels really weird. It's printed by Amazon, that's why. This could be like... Sorry guys, it just... The paper feels really like abnormal for a book. But anyway, this is The Island by Natasha Preston. I absolutely love the car the cover for starters. The cover was what drawn me to this book and made me want to buy it. And then the blurb was second, but the cover is just absolutely stunning. It's so dark, we've got birds, we've got like some sort of messed up fairground. Um this has given me the similar vibes to the You're So Dead um book that I read and reviewed as well. But this is they said goodbye to their friends and family for the weekend. They weren't counting on forever. Jagged Island, a private amusement park for the very rich or the very influenced influencer. Liam, James, Will, Ava, Harper and Paisley. Social media influencers with millions of followers have been invited for an exclusive weekend before the park opens. They'll create posts and videos for their channels and repost every second of their VIP treatment. Now this sounds exactly like the You're So Dead book by Ash, I can't remember the second name, but I read that and I reviewed that on here and that was similar where they were trapped on an island and they had to like blog about it, but then like I think it was Peach or Plum, Plum, nicked her sister's invitation and went and nearly killed her friends in the process so yeah if you want to see that review these two books sound similar but hopefully there'll be different twists so when the teens arrive they're stunned the resort is even better than they imagined their hotel rooms are unreal the park's themed rides are incredible and the island is hauntingly beautiful they're jam-packed Jam-packed schedule seems to cover every moment of their visit, but soon they realise that something's missing, getting off the island alive. So yeah, that sounds super interesting. I'm going to add that to my other pile. Two more books, and then we can call it a day on this. The next one is Lion in the Deep. absolutely love the cover. It's given me triangle vibes, if you've seen that film, um, by Diana Urban page is a lot more nicer in this one <laughs> sorry oh he's like that but yeah I fell in love with the cover that's what drew me in and again the synopsis um and I kept looking and looking and looking for this one in the UK uh when the release date came and I could never find it so I'm so so glad that my hubby picked it up for me <clears throat> but this is romance jealousy obsession and trapped on board with a killer so it's a boat theme book with a killer so I can't wait after being jilted by her ex-boyfriend and best friend, Jade couldn't be more ready to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. Eleven countries in four months, all from the luxurious campus on board ship, and to wedge the entire globe between her and the people who broke her heart. But when Jade discovers a backstabbing couple who are setting, setting sail, her obsession with them grows and fast, grows and fast feasts, leading to a shocking murder. And their friends begin to drop like fries. Jade and her new crush must race to clear her name to find the killer they've been trapped at sea with before anyone else winds up in a body bag. Yeah, so that sounds really interesting and can't wait to read that and review that. And the last book we have is another Natasha, Natasha Preston one. Um, I've read some of the blurbs of the other one but they didn't sound too appealing to me but this one did sound appealing to me and this is the haunting she is bringing out another book uh called the dare which is coming out this year i think but it's like in the middle of the year or something but um yeah the cover's really pretty it's given me like haunting vibes <laughs> but um haunted by the past terrified by the pre terrified of the present Penny knows she must forget her ex, Nash, ever since his father was revealed as the brutal serial killer who traumatised their small town last Halloween. Penny's parents have forbidden her to have anything to do with Nash or his family. 
it's hard not to think of him but she's trying that stops when she goes shopping with her friends for a costume what she finds instead is a rip is ripped from a horror f movie someone from school bleeding out on the floor of a dressing room stabbed people are quick to blame nash and his sister grace but as halloween nears and the body count rises penny can't help thinking this copycat killer is someone no one suspects oh, that sounds like halloween <laughs> i don't know but no that sounds interesting so i can't wait again to read this one and review it so that was my first book haul of 2023 and thank you for watching